In this video, I want to quickly show you the difference in time delay when using a Dante Digital AES adapter and a Dante Analog Input adapter. What we have here is a tablet that is connected via USB to a Dante USB uh, adapter that runs into the Scorpio sound devices via a Dante AES adapter on channel 1 and 2, and to a Dante Analog adapter on channel 5 and 6. Both of channel 5 and 6 are configured as line, as you can see. Okay, um, sound is actually going to, into these four channels, and um, I disabled Noise Assist to not impose any further delay on the recording. Uh, mix Assist is still active. I mean, Noise Assist is active on my microphone that, that you can see, which I'm talking to right now, but a Noise Assist is um, disabled on channels 1, 2, five and six, and um, both uh, all four channels have an active compression on it and limiter active and so forth. And uh, as I said, mix assist, but apart from that, there's nothing really configured on these channels. So let's give it a try. When I try to start the movie slate, now you see that it has some kind of time code, and the time code is synchronized with the um, sound devices 833, Via these tentacle sync, uh, uh, via this tentacle sync device, and uh, we should now be able to start the slate. So this is it. Given another try, once again. Maybe another one. Excellent. So I uh, should be able to stop the recording and see in the door how these wave file, uh, waveforms maybe uh, differ or maybe do not differ. Okay, here we are with a recording we just did on the Sound Devices 833. Uh, I opened it in RX8 and you can see that I used the movie slate three times. And we try to. Uh, the first f f two tracks are the AES um, digital signal, and the other two tracks are the analog signal. And when we, we zoom in, we should actually see. Oh, hold on, I will switch to time format to samples first. When I zoom in, we should see that um, these tracks are not totally aligned. Uh, this should be enough. We see here the the sound starts to to increase, and when we look at the sample, it's uh, five four nine at the end. When I go to the to this one, it's five six zero, or maybe this one, it's five um, five five nine. So we have ten samples, and when I calculate correctly, I should um, have four ten samples divided by 48,000, multiplied with 1,000 in milliseconds. So I sh no, this was probably 100. Okay, let's do it again. So we have 0.2 milliseconds as a time delay between both rig both uh, inputs. So the uh, this is here the, um, the analog input, and this is the digital input. And one thing to notice when we see on the spectrum, we see that we have a much cleaner noise floor on the AES signal. So, this is it, and um, now you know, and I know, how much of a time difference we have when we use ordinate digital adapters compared to analog input adapters, at least uh, as seen on the Sound Devices 833. Thank you very much for listening and watching. Till next time.